when I started this project, I actually, I knew that it was possible I was doing something that was completely out of my league, that I was outmatched by my own ambition. I'm actually, there's a bit of noise here. You can hear the, the, the fans going and uh, I'm not actually sure I'm going to be talking that much anyway. So, uh, so I'm getting through a project here, which has taken me a long time. Some of these parts are sanded before priming. And then I have some other parts which I have actually primed, which I'm sanding uh, and, and priming more. These are obviously 3D printed, you can see that. Uh, and you can also see that my printer wasn't calibrated that well. This is something I did very early in my 3D printing career. And uh, it would have been easier to sand and prime if I had known better how to, or if I had been better at setting up my printer. But it's fine, it's, it's not bad. And one thing I like about uh, printing in PLA, it's very sandable. PLA sands almost like wood, which I'm used to working with, of course, from my background. And it doesn't even, unlike most plastics, when you sand them, or many plastics, it, it, PLA doesn't clog up the sandpaper, which is really nice. So how about this? I don't say what project this is, and you can guess in the comments. Print is a little straighter, you can see that. Fewer lines, which leads me to believe I didn't print these two at the same time. I don't think I did. I have been working on this particular project for literally years. Despite the fact that I'm actually getting places with it, I'm still completely sanguine about the fact that maybe it won't finish or if it ever finishes I may not be happy with the result the process will have still taught me so much yeah I know you were probably thinking how am I supposed to guess what he's making based on just a couple of tubes I bet you think it's a little easier now and parts like this are a bitch to sand. I just have to be very, actually you have to be very gentle. This is, first of all, it's thin. I mean, the walls are, what, two millimeters or something like that? So I can easily, I can easily snap it if I work it too, too roughly. And then here is a big wad or clump of CA glue because the seam, there's a glue seam here, obviously. And, and it didn't, you know, I wasn't happy with it, so I added some CA glue and some some uh, some powder to give this uh, these uh, this assembly some body. And obviously, sanding down a wad like that. If you ever did sanding anything like this, you know that's difficult. You want to sand down the wad without dimpling the surroundings. That's not necessarily easy. Sometimes actually you can, using a, a file, again, I have to be careful not to press too hard, but using a file can sometimes have an effect similar to, to using a wood plane on a, on a bump of, on a piece of wood where you actually, you're planing it without digging in. And the file also gives you some feedback you can sort of feel it. Uh, you can feel where the, the bump is. And then you can sort of smooth that out. A file like this, is that's a metal file, and that's what I usually use for this because it's controllable, I think. All of the lines, because it's not, it's not, it doesn't have teeth. It has the lines, and all of these lines, each little line is sort of like a little scraper, or like I said, sort of like a little plane, tiny little plane. 
to my temperament, to the way I work. I feel with this kind of a file, I have a fighting chance of controlling its path over the workpiece and to make it actually file off or shave off the parts that I want to shave off. God, I feel like this might be a bunch of nonsense. You think I'll finish? Seriously, I'm asking, do you think I will finish this? Do you have faith in me, stranger on the internet? Man, it still sort of blows my mind that I can fabricate something like this in my apartment, in my room here. That I have a machine that can do that. It just occurs to me, I should have done this as a live stream. It's like, zero viewers. Did I do that? Leave a comment, tell me if I should do that. Right, so uh, we're sanding primer now and some, some spackle stuff, filler there, there, and I'm using a different kind of sandpaper. This is, uh, it's, it's the kind that's, I think they call it wet paper, uh, and it is awesome. I really, I don't know if you noticed, but I use the, the fabric backing kind for rough, rubber sanding. And then this is just, this is paper backing, but it's like, uh, yeah, wet and dry, obviously, but uh, yeah. I don't know what you call these, I mean, the technical terms, but this kind is amazing for, for primer sanding. And I've got the, the kind that I have here, Uh, I don't remember what it costs. It's not cheap, but holy cow, it lasts. This piece I've done, I have, I have, I've lost track of how long I've been using this piece. How many, how many, you know, work pieces I've sanded with this, and it just keeps going. You can see it takes, it takes sanding dust off beautifully. And it looks like it's completely clogged, but it isn't. It's still, you know, sharp for lack of, for lack of a better word for it. It's amazing. And of course, it, it helps that I'm using uh, this kind of spackle. I'm using uh, this kind, this extra fine, super lightweight uh, filler. And I use this kind of filler primer and I've come to use those two products because out of everything I've tested so far or tried so far, they are very sandable. They're eminently sandable. And again, the, the things like the primer, I mean, it, it's called Pro and you know when, when a manufacturer calls anything Pro, it's because they're going to charge you for it. And it's not cheap. It's not the cheap kind, and I've tried using the cheap kind of primer, and I would if it worked. I'm not being a snob here, but it has a tendency, cheap primer has a tendency to, uh, to become rubbery when you sand it. And it's completely impossible. It fills out the sandpaper, you know, clocks it, and... Uh, Sometimes the the doors, it comes off in this sort of rubbery, almost like a and you know the, the 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 stuff that comes off from an eraser when you use a pencil eraser eraser. So it, these little boogers that will sometimes even stick to itself. So you try to sand it off, and what you're sanding off turns into this little booger, which then sticks back onto where you sanded it off from. And I hate that. It's a very lovely surface. I'm very happy with that. Yep, that's ready for another layer of primer. And I think that's going to be the final layer of primer for it. All right, you guys. We're going to paint. We're going to spray. Right, mask on. Right, 
almost empty. Now one more small thing. Not the biggest single thing I've sprayed in here, but it's close. 